found that once I got here, having quite a close train connections, like two minute walk, and um, lots of like restaurants, cafes around, made it a lot better than just going to a, sort of an isolated college. Um, it makes you a bit more involved in the city and things. Um, it's nice to just go out and have lunch with friends and then come back and you know work in the studio and things. Mm. It's a lot more sort of relaxed environment, which I found yeah. was quite good. And quite often I just like <coughs> I go to the hotel just to relax, so you don't have to actually drive out from yeah. the town and like just go and gather yourself. So yeah. yeah, yeah, especially if you're living here, everything's on your doorstep, isn't it? Really, like mm. within a half hour walk, you can get to a hotel rather than. The general public are just really nice <coughs> to be around in the whole community, like Plymouth in general. People, are, mm. you know, you can they're so friendly yeah. people. They're not yeah. not gonna come bite you. I think everybody are like really laid back. Yeah. I really I felt like that's where I wanted to be. Yeah. Mm. You know, like, yeah. I'm the same because the atmosphere yeah. is really nice. I think. The interview is just like sitting at a desk with your mm. mates. Really. Yeah. 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 Like you've known them for years. Another reason that made me come here was. Um, like the professionalism of the course like a lot of the lecturers have actually worked in industry and um, they have that experience um, and now the course is actually uh, CSD approved so like product designers so it's another reason to really come here because it is notified by, and, and as seen in industry as like, a really good place to come I think that's really clear as well with the tutors that they are really passionate about design and mm. you know, they're really interested in their areas and also yeah. other areas um, and I think that really helps rather than somebody just teaching you actually have somebody who's actually interested in sort of involved in your work. Yeah. And it is a, lot a really relaxed environment like you can sit down on the sofa and have a chat with them as your tutorial you know. Yeah, yeah tutors are really supporting to get a placement as well isn't it? I yeah. think recently it has mm. been like more yeah, they get to know who you are as a mm. designer and as a person over the three years, so they suggest things that yeah. might be tailored to you more than, yeah. you know, so they're like, oh, I think you'll be really interested in this person or this event or that kind of thing. And then One thing that made me come here was the fact that I, I went to um, in other places um, and actually the students don't get any really, any real space to work in, whereas here you you do get you can find a space that you can make your own in a sense and and work there and but then again you also have that space where you can interact and play mm. and have that downtime with everyone in the studio space so there's always something going on here as well which is and if there isn't any room in the studio you've got like the library which is open 24 7 like space around the balcony areas and that which also for the sign of makers we've yeah we do have studio everybody have their own desk space but at Sign Makers we have wood workshop, uh, ceramics mm -hmm. and metal workshop where you have another spa space to put your work while you're working on it. So yeah, there's plenty of room. Just I think we're quite comfortable about it as well. Like when we finally are asked to move out, then you feel yeah. quite <laughs> lost, yeah. isn't it? Because you're so used to like always having this space around yeah. you. Um, I think we've all kind of yeah, moved in, it. haven't we? We've got fridges and yeah. sofas. Microwaves, kettles, all kinds of stuff here. Except when Perry blows up. So. <laughs> it's um, quite just good with like, this building being, I guess, sort of the creative hub. So you've got everyone around you, architects, yeah. graphic designers, just seeing what the, the other studios are doing as well. Yeah. Like, there's always an exhibition to go and look at, or someone's work is up on the wall. We've always got the markets and that downstairs as well. Which yeah, yeah. Pop yeah. Up it's shocking that. Good food, food and stuff. Food markets, really good. Yeah. The work placements worked out really well, I guess. Um, it's just nice to, I guess, sit, sort of pick your sort of developed skills to test, but not only for a short period rather than taking out a whole year if you've got 12 weeks. Yeah. And also, it did definitely help me for the third year, so to build up my CAD skills, build up a sort of portfolio for yeah. professional clients, sort of work, and yeah, to come back after learning that and then also share I guess my experiences with other people. Yeah. It's quite valuable and I enjoy doing as well. I think there are like so many <coughs> opportunities in here, so many different events, you just kind of have to keep your eyes open to see like what's There's actually always somebody's network with. 
But it just, it, you have to be active yourself. Yeah. It's not like somebody is like giving it that out. Yeah. 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 What's nice is like what you were saying about putting it into practice is when that happens, it gives you the confidence that you're doing mm. yeah. things right and you're being taught in a way that benefits you for in the long run as well as the short term. And you still got a year to yeah. work on your skills yeah. as well, sort of. so that's nice. Um, it was really good having the opportunity to um, exhibit in January at Cast Gallery, which was like an independent gallery, but obviously it was linked with the uni, so it was nice having not an exhibition at Plymouth Uni, but having something that was actually to do with the city, um, and something independent and apart from that, um, and that was really successful, um, as work carried through to council um, projects and things, so it was a really, really good time to sort of take take that design work onto a new level and onto that sort of professional level. So, uh, yeah. I find it good as well that they kind of like push you to uh, enter competitions because mm. there's always an opportunity to be had. Like one of our modules that we've had was, you know, entering an RSA competition, which is it's really good because it, it is seen to be a big award if you win it, but it also pushes you and makes you think about things in in totally different light. Because I had a quit with you didn't I mm. throughout most of it and you get to approach people who don't necessarily because they're out of your discipline they may never have seen you present before but know of your work that kind of thing and you get to you know see how well your idea is interpreted by them and get their feedback from a different discipline. More about <coughs> exhibitions like my my work was exhibited downstairs and because it was out there um, I actually got commissioned to do my first trees for university so um, there's a, a, like always somebody looking out for new, exciting work to, yeah, so I'm really grateful for that. Yeah. Even though they've got 35,000 students, you don't feel like there's 35,000 students no. in. You feel like you're in a tight-knit group of, you know, whether it be on your course or whatever. Yeah. Everyone that I know here and talk to, everyone, everyone's really happy. I mm. haven't come across one person who doesn't like the uni. I think the good thing about the course as well is it gives you the chance to move around. Like if you, you know, if you like design and making, and but then you don't get on well with it, you might want to do spatial, and you can really explore the different areas without feeling like you're tied to one specific one until you sort of specialise in that sort of area. I love what I'm doing in here. I love what I've got out of out of it. For me, it's been it's been great. Like yeah. I seriously love everybody in here. So. Well, there's loads of people who come and go as well. Like on. You know, overseas work you know, placements and stuff like mm. that. So everyone just accepts them into like the little family, really. Mm. That's what it kind of feels like a little family unit because you're around everyone every day. Yeah. I think the uni as a whole is like that as well. When you walk around, you can see yeah. lots of different faces, all from different places and things. Mm. And it's just it's nice to see that you know that obviously the uni's attracting you know uh, broad broad yeah, mm. broad amount of people.